That's it, we're able, we're away. Minutes, absolute minutes, under a full firefight. The Chinook's loading bay has indeed proved its worth by aiding quick loading and minimising the aircraft's time on the ground. It's time for the Merc team to deal with the casualties. Everything works fantastically. When these guys are under pressure, look at the professionalism, look at them just doing their job. But we're still under fire. Yeah. And the helicopter's been hit. Yeah, I'm I'm and it's not just a helicopter that's taken a bullet. Our pilot's been shot too. All right, chaps, just to let you know, it took a round through my front windscreen, which came up and hit me on the head. Uh, got a bit of a crack and a bleed there. With the Chinook struggling to remain airborne, our co-pilot makes an emergency call back to Camp Bastion. Mayday 273, nine miles to the south. We've taken a round through the cockpit. Um, we've also got some uh, transmission problems. Yeah, I think we've taken round uh, above me. Not only has the pilot been hit, another bullet has severed a hydraulic pipe, and he's wrestling with the controls of 12 tonnes of helicopter travelling at 200 kilometres an hour. Mayday, 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 Tricky 73, Tricky 73, Tricky 73. Great covering fire from the back door from our RAF regiment. Brilliant work from Paul there on the M60. Never experienced anything like this clearly in my life before. Don't know what to make of it, to be honest with you. It's, um, it's both shocking and awe-inspiring all at the same time. Injured and bleeding, our pilot Chomper wrestles with the helicopter's heavy controls. I've got a sword. I saw a jaw and something dripping down my left hand side. Right, it's going to be a bit wobbly on the way in, guys. We have to get out. Roger. Sales first. Six. Five and right. We've made it. You're right, fella. Yeah, yeah good. Pilot Ian, who's brought us all back safely, is getting a bit of first aid. His escape is nothing short of a miracle. The bullet ricocheted off his flying helmet. Yeah, we better take off the ballistics to have a look at. If the finger on the Taliban trigger had squeezed a fraction earlier or later, none of us would have stood a chance. No loss of consciousness at all? No. I can't believe that. That's Chomper. He's the pilot. He flew that back after being shot in the face. <sighs> we were being shot up pretty bad there. And as for the Chinook, bullet strikes everywhere. It's a good little one there. Excuse me. The full drama of what's just happened to us finally sinks in. Stop in a minute. Oh, please. 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 Please